Hello, my name is Sam Keen. I'm a writer, author of uh, popular science books. I got started studying physics and English literature in college, so I kind of straddled uh, both ends of the spectrum there. And I have written three books now, including The Violinist Thumb and The Dueling Neurosurgeons. I wrote my book, The Disappearing Spoon, about the periodic table because even though there are other books about the table, there wasn't quite one that took the approach that I wanted to do. Uh, first of all, I wanted to cover every single element on the periodic table, which sounded kind of crazy and daunting at the start, but I did manage to find a story about every single element on there. So I wanted something that would cover the entire table. And the other thing is that in all my books, I really emphasize stories. I wanted uh, you know, people involved, I wanted heroes, villains, things like that. And there were a lot of books about kind of the development of the periodic table, kind of the overarching view, but I really wanted to get into a lot, a lot of the details about the elements themselves and to show people that, you know, that chart hanging on the wall in your chemistry class, it's not just about chemistry. There's a lot in there about things in your everyday life. And so I wanted to connect the periodic table to art, to music, to all these different areas of human life by telling stories about individual elements. So with my books, I guess I'm trying to do a couple of different things. Uh, for people who have a background in science, I'm kind of trying to show them the background uh, of their own field, teach them a lot of stories that maybe they'd heard vaguely or maybe had never heard at all, to kind of bring the science, bring the past alive for them. Because unfortunately, you don't get a lot of training in that sometimes in your science classes. So I wanted to kind of bring the past alive for them, make it an entertaining field. But even for general readers, uh, that's the to, uh, the people I guess I was really focusing on in that I just wanted to make them kind of just tap into that sense of wonder about science. Everyone I think at some point in their lives has been moved or excited by science in some ways and I really hope that the stories that I'm getting across in the book kind of get at that sense of wonder. They make science lively, interesting, fun. So that's really what I want to do is to show people that you can have fun with science. It can be a lively, entertaining field if you just know where to look.